Welcome back to International Scale Modeler. Uh, today we're going to do a review of something that I've been waiting for for quite a while. Um, now uh, it's Gary Winton uh, who put me onto this. He saw it was going to be released and everything. So thank you very much, Gary. Tip of the hat to you, mate. And I saw it and I just thought I had to have it because it is very different. And I think you guys know I like different these days. Um, it is the um, SWS uh, Super Weapon Series. Now this is from Zukimura. Um, and I didn't know they did armor um, or whether this is their first attempt into it, but they've actually called it SWS like their Super Wing series, but Super Weapon series instead. This is the Principality of Galia Experimental Tank Odelweiss. Uh, now this is, from what I can understand, is a manga cartoon, um, a Japanese manga cartoon. And this is a 135 version of one of the, the tanks that are inside it. Now, I've had a quick look at the cartoon, it is um, in there somewhere, there's not many of this particular one. Uh, but what I'd like to say, if they're going to bring out a few of these, um, or, or start a series, because this is Super Weapon Series number SP1, um, I'm going to be very interested in collecting these. Uh, the only thing is, uh, there's only one shop that I found that sells it, and that's uh, G-Wing, which I think is a Taiwanese shop, and it's the only place I could find it. Uh, but find it I did, I've been waiting for two months, I bought it two months ago, um, waiting for it to be released and everything, it was delayed a little while and all that on. Now I've had a little, I don't usually look inside the boxes, but I have had a look, little look inside this. I was a bit excited when I got it, I do apologise. Um, but it does look really nice, I've got to say. Um, it doesn't look, I was expecting it to be a lot like a Citadel cat, uh, kit or something like that, but it really isn't. So uh, I think without further ado, let's have a look inside the box. もちろんです。こんな戦車を見たことないけど、自作品です。私の実の父とギリの父が二人でこれまでにない戦車を作ろうと術の父。ダルクス人でした。これはエーデルワイス号って言います。エーデルワイス。高貴なる城。動かせる
Um, I'm not excited enough, I forgot my knife. Okay. Okay, now I don't know too many people who have actually bought this, so there aren't many reviews of this around, so I'm hoping this is going to be one of the first ones. Now, first off, you can see straight away that the plastic's this, this bluey colour, um, which is a bit different from the, the normal styrene you see. It's actually not a bad plastic, it's quite... It's very plasticky rather than styrene-y, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, but uh, it does look very good indeed. If we go to the overhead, you can see on this that... Um, uh, some lovely detail. Uh, the plastic itself is, as I say, is really nice, but there is quite a lot of very fine detail. Um, there's like a, a rough, let's zoom you in so you can see here. Look. You can just see that, that rough pitted look there. Okay, and it's really nice, some nice level of detail in that. And if we come back out a bit and just have a look at you can other things like you've got some uh, uh, artillery, some shells there, you've got other bits and bobs. Like I say, this, I, you know, I haven't had a look at this properly yet, but there's, there's straps, it's, it's the idle voice, so it's got this sort of theme, I would imagine, like the mountain, Austrian mountain theme to it. Uh, so it has all this funny colouring and, and, and all sorts of stuff. But uh, the spirit itself, it looks nicely moulded. I mean, if this is uh, Zukimura, it's going to be good. It's going to go together very well. Uh, as far as flash goes, there's no flash, although I do spot um, a little bit of burring. Let me just see if I can oh, I'll keep zooming it in again. There's a little bit of burring on each of those shells there, if you can see that. Uh, so they're going to take a bit of clean up. Apart from that, they've got some antennas and all that sort of stuff on there. There's again some nice detail for the, the, the whole top of the hull. There's very distinctive shape to the top of the hull as well. Really nice and you've got the shroud there. All very different and this is all done if you have a look on the box here it's all done like this cloth sort of effect and everything you know some of the panels so very nice. Very anime which I think is what it's from. And now if I was good I would have found a clip of it uh, and you would have seen a clip of it already in action. So uh, you've got the second sprue again these are very big sprues and um, they are a nice size. You see things like we've got here, we've got like a prop shaft, uh, we've got some rope that's not particularly well, I mean that's, to make that look nice that's going to be hard. Um, I think you could probably do some of your own for that, maybe. Uh, but apart from that, all the moulding again is very nice, uh, we've got some tools and everything here. Um, and we've got like, I would imagine that's the engine cover. But uh, all very, all, all good, and we've got some blankets, and the blankets are really nice. Let me zoom you in on those. Okay, as you can see, they're really nice. They're nice, really nice indeed. But the rope is lacking a bit, as you can see. So uh, some good and some bad points, but overall, I think very nice indeed. Uh, I can't you can all pick pick bits and bobs out of that. Um, we'll have a look when we get to the instructions about what everything is for. So we've got three really big sprues. Let's see another big sprue. And I think this will be a project that I'm going to build reasonably soon. I've been really waiting for this to come in. As you can see, things like here where you've got these buckles and these straps and things like that. It does look really, it's very clean and crisp all the way across. You've got the upper hull there. And it's got this big square. It's quite short and wide uh, compared to a lot of other things. And obviously you've got the lower hull sides and everything. It's like the front there. Uh, very strange shape, as you can see, it's not really it's quite angled, and then you've got this boxy bit on here. I think this is kind of like an Imago, it could be a bit of a Tiger, Tiger 1 there, and then you've got a bit of another tank there, and the, the turret's a bit of another tank as well. Um, so it's an amalgamation and a mishmash of all seven different uh, AFV stuff and that, so which is nice. Now this is two, this is a mirrored sprue, so I'm only going to take one of them out. Let's take them both out, just to give you an idea what the links are like and everything. Now they've got pre-moulded links, as you can see from the shape there, and there, okay. So you can see they're already built in with sag. Now, I know a lot of uh, armour modellers say, well, they don't like these links, they like the individual links and all that lot. Um, I've got to say, I haven't done an individual link AFE yet. Um, I'm, all mine have been Tamiya so far, so you get those horrible rubber things. Um, but the individual links look really look like a right pain in the posterior, I've got to say. 
Uh, now these, uh, I had, a, I did uh, buy a Citadel Chimera, which I've, I've, I've finished. You know, it just needs painting. It's all base painting and everything. And these had these pre-molded tracks, pretty much like this. And I actually thought they could look quite good. And they're made specifically to go where they go, so they do look the business once they're on. You know, they're made to look good. Um, and they've got all this sag and the round pieces and things like that. So I actually like those. I like the look of those. Um, and again, inside here, inside these these. Um, wheel parts you've got a really nice texture in there as well which is going to come out really nice I, I, I do like the look of that I've got to say I like those and we've got another bag here with two mirrored screws in so we're just going to pull one of these out now on here we've got more we have more shells um, and the wheels as well very nicely clean crisp um, molded well molded these shells don't have any burr on them at all so I can only assume that either that sprue um, is a, an older sprue, and this is a newer one, uh, because those shells don't have any burring on whatsoever. Um, no cleanup needed on those, unless those are meant to have that that line around them. I don't know. Maybe I might have to look into that before I build it. But uh, yeah, these are definitely different, much much better quality as well. So, um, but I do like this plastic. It's really different. Um, the sprues are nice to say, no flash anywhere at all, no hint of flash on any part of that kit whatsoever. So let's have a look. Oh, we've got some clear parts now, quite a bit, a few clear parts actually, as you can see. Uh, so I'm just these are these are mirrored, so I'm just going to take one of these out as well. Now these clear parts are exceptionally clear. I've got to say they are crystal clear. Um, now I'm just trying to have a think. These shapes are the weights on the back of the box. Yeah. You see there, that's those there. Okay, so whether they stay clear, it looks like they've been painted on that, uh, like a blue colour. So I don't think they actually stay uh, clear anyway, so I don't see the point in making them clear, but maybe they are, maybe you do, don't paint them. We'll have a look when we get into the instructions, but they are incredibly clear, they're very nice. If you had, if they were windows, they'd be very good indeed. All right, so let's have a look at the instruction manual. I do. I'm looking, looking forward to looking in this. Now, obviously, one of these things you're not going to get. You're not going to get photo etched with this because it doesn't come with it, and I doubt there'll be any aftermarket stuff being jumped all over this. Uh, just a couple of other things before we go do the instruction manual. You've got looks like a registration card uh, with Volks. Um, for the Super Weapon series. Unfortunately, it's all in, I think, Chinese, um, so I haven't got a bloody clue what it says, which is a shame, because I wouldn't mind sending that in and knowing if there any more stuff comes out, because they've got tick boxes and everything here as well, so it might mean that there might be some aftermarket parts for this already, I don't know. Um, so uh, I might have to have a look into that, but uh, it's, uh, that's, uh, it's a shame you haven't got an English version of that, but I don't foresee this coming out on the English market, I've got to say or any other market apart from the, the uh, Far East. Uh, we've got some decal sheets. Now, as you can see from this decal sheet, uh, we've got all of these decals here down the side, uh, on the lamp, uh, or whatever it is, um, all the regalia basically on the sides and everything is decals. Now those decals are very nice indeed. I mean, they are extremely close. There's no overlap, you know how I go on about you know, it's an excess of decal up past the, uh, past the actual um, uh, picture of, the, of itself. But you do have these parts here. Now, to be honest with you, I've got to say I will paint those on. There's no point putting those on. There's some tricky areas. Um, I can see one straight away. On here, this, uh, this like um, belt, or for want of a better word, is moulded onto the, the hull. Uh, to get this decal on there, which is one of these I'm sure, you're going to have to cut the decal and then cut it again and make ever so small pieces to get it to fit. So I think the easier thing to do would be to paint that um, completely. Uh, but other than that, the decals are very nice and they're in register as well, which is excellent. So we'll put those over there. Oh, I'll actually put those back in the bag. So no, my luck this last week, I will damage them somehow. Some marquee pen will fall out of the sky and mark. Right, okay, so the instruction manual. 
we have got uh, it is an A4 booklet, um, very nice paper map, paper, good quality as well, really, really nice. I mean, Zuki Mora uh, are renowned for their quality and everything. Um, a lot of these Far East uh, companies are their quality of the kits and how they do them and everything else that comes with them is, is absolutely brilliant. So, uh, you know, hats off to them really. So let's have a look. Now inside, uh, because this was an import and obviously it's not, uh, <laughs> it's all in Chinese or Japanese, I really don't know. I know I'm insulting the Chinese or the Japanese and I do apologise. Um, but here you've got, it uh, looks like the map of uh, Galia, um, the Principality of Galia and it looks like a unicorn's head, I've got to say. Um, you've then got a little thing here, a picture of the um, tank built up, and you've got some. Uh, you've got some detail here. Uh, the length, I would say, that's the length. The weight, 32 tons. Maximum speed, 60 kilometres. 800 horsepower, 2,800 RPM. Uh, the gun is an 88 millimeter KWK, so that's a German one. 12.7 uh, millimeter. So yeah, so you've got all the the dimensions and everything. The thing. Then you've got like, looks like the the captain and. Uh, the other crew um, and some other stuff there as well. So uh, if you can read Chinese or Japanese, then you're well in there, uh, unlike me. Uh, what I do like, you've got some sprue maps here, which is excellent. They're all numbered as well, which I really, really like. I do like that. Um, you've got here some prices for some other stuff, ABC, some yen prices. So I don't know what that is, whether that's, oh, that's right. You can buy these sprues. You can buy extra sprues and it's telling you how much yen each sprue is if you want to buy it separately and uh, maybe a little order form and things like that. So that's really nice. Nice touch. Uh, just a legend there on what a key to what's going on inside their things. Um, their instructions. So the instructions themselves, their CAD drawings, which is really nice. Um, again, everything is in Chinese or Japanese. Um, I think it's Chinese. I'm pretty sure it's Chinese. Um, but uh, I've probably completely wrong and it's Japanese. Um, you can see here you're building up the inside, that's a prop, uh, we've got here ammo racks and everything, yeah it looks like that's the engine, there you go, you see you've got building up the engine, the prop shaft, um, gearboxes, ammo racks, so that's the inside of the hull, so it's got an internal which is really nice indeed, um, and then you've got some more ammo racks you've got to build up there, the side of the hulls. Um, now. It looks like you've got these little pictures of little bottles here uh, with numbers by them um, and that looks like paint colours. So MC, okay, um, so that's not one that I use unfortunately, it's a master colour isn't it? So I would have to get conversion charts on that for those because I don't use master colour. Um, but as we go through the instructions again, very simply, yeah, they're those things, that, um, yeah they do paint them. So uh, it's a bit strange that they're in clear plastic, but they do get painted. They're the weights, obviously. Uh, and then you've got more of the internal. I mean, this internal just look built up. Looks like it looks really nice built up. I've got to say, that's really nice. So you can weather the hell out of that as well. So that's really nice. I do like that. That's a nice touch. It didn't look like it had internal. Uh, you then got to, how to put the wheels together, and then obviously the front of the hull and with the lights and things like that. And you've got putting all the wheels on the hull, which again you don't do, you leave till last. And you put the tracks on. Now that's going to be, let's have a look, the wheels, uh, the wheels in the hull are all one colour. So you can get away with putting those on um, and then leaving the tracks till last, uh, which you would normally do anyway, and then spot a CA glue, um, whether paint the tracks up separately maybe. Um, I don't know, I'll have to have a look at that one, take it all apart and take it all off the sprue and then see what it looks like. But there, then it gives you a picture of it all made up, okay, which is really nice indeed, I do like that. It gives you an idea of what you're trying to achieve. Uh, you've then got the upper hull, uh, which is very square, very tigerish, I suppose. You will have to excuse the... Right, and then you've got uh, a lot of the greebles, and again, colours for all the greebles. Again, there's a lot of different colours, I've got to say. Uh, so you're going to, you know, these are all separated. You're saying paint these before you put them on and things like that. So, again, that's something I'll have to look into for getting all the uh, odds and sods. And now the birds are singing up, even though those birds are outside of the workshop now, believe it or not. Uh, you've then got the main barrel and the gun itself with the shroud, some more ammo. Um, Commander's seat, I would imagine. 
Um, you got the turret ring. Yes, yeah, so it's a lot of internals in this. It's actually going to build up quite nice. So I would imagine it looks like you can see there that that's all built up. Um, you're not going to glue that in, I wouldn't have thought. There's a picture there. It's very dull of uh, the inside, what it's supposed to look like. Uh, and then you've got obviously the commander ring and uh, the rest of the upper hull, all that, put that together. And again, gives you pictures of what it's supposed to look like. Um, shame they're not in colour, but it still gives you an idea. And then you've got the three sub-assemblies that you put together at the end. Uh, now I would definitely, because of that, those internals, I definitely wouldn't glue. Oh, it actually says don't glue these three bits together. So you, know, you can take it apart and have a look inside. And then you've got the, uh, you've got the armour plates on the side, the side plates. And then a picture again with all the decals that need to go on. Again, as I said, I don't think I think the majority of those decals I would paint on. Be a lot lot easier for sure. And then you ah, you've got some colour pictures. Look at that. Uh, of once it's all done. Um, and this paintwork is going to be an absolute nightmare to do. This is four different shades there, four different colours of of this bluey grey. Um, but putting it together, you're really going to have to think about um, how you're going to do that before you do it. Good thing is as well, it's also got some weathering tips, how to do the tracks, and then again, obviously, all these, these strap bits, how to weather them, make them look good. Obviously, I don't understand what I'm saying, but I can guess that... It... So you can see that it does all this, um, so it looks, it makes it show you what it's look like when it's ready. And what I do notice, it's got X20 and XF9 there. Now obviously those are Tamiya colours, um, so it's saying it's telling you about Tamiya paints as well and things like that. Uh, but there we go, you've got all the, the paint, you've got your paint call outs here, quite a few different colours. Um, and you're going to have to, ah, it has got. Right, as you can see here, it's got this Mr. Number 25, Mr. Number 28. So I'm just going to have a quick look and have a look, see what number 25 and 28 is. Uh, 25 is sky blue and 28 is metal black. So that's not Mr. Hobby colour. Um, MC159, no. So I was just wondering if they were going to be Mr. Hobby colours conversions there, but they're not. So uh, definitely not, no. So uh, I'm going to have to get the conversion charts out for that, find out what pay that paint that is. I think it's master colour, but we'll have to find out for sure. Um, and uh, so come up with your own paint scheme. But the good thing is, because it's sci-fi um, and it's not a replica as such, you can pretty much do what you want with it, which I like. Um, and that's it. So that is um, the uh, instruction manual. And I have to say, uh, that I'm really impressed with that and it looks like it's going to be a superb kit. I love the fact it's got all those internals as well. That's a really, really nice touch. Um, and uh, I'm going to look forward to building that. It's going to be a bit tricky. That paint scheme is going to be very, very hard. But overall, I think that's going to look the business once it's done. And it can be completely different to anything else that's in your collection as well. So it's a big thumbs up for me. Uh, that is the uh, 135 SWS series from Zuki Mora, Principality of Gali Experimental Tank, Idle Voice, Super Weapon Series number SB1. Say that when you're drunk. Until next time, goodbye.